right here. We're gonna use that. We're gonna make a little bit of a brine. Um, we're gonna use it for the uh, for our ones that we're gonna. We may pickle some or smoke some. Might just smoke them. I don't know how many I got that we saved from last night. But I'm just gonna uh, want to put probably about a cup, a cup or so of kosher salt into your brine. Make sure it all dissolves up. Water's cold. Alright, this is gonna be a mess. Cleaning these uh scaling these suckers. Getting them all scaled and filleted, getting them ready for the, for the smoker. That's gonna be a that's gonna be a fun one. Alright, but here we go. I've never done this with herring before, but can't be that hard. These are nice and brined up from last night. I'm just gonna scale them. Get all the scales off using the back of a knife. Man, nice and shiny. Look at them. Rinse them a little bit. I don't know, you know what? We're gonna, we might smoke them whole. How's that? So we're going to take, we're going to just run down the anal vent. We're going to take out all the guts. Guts. I'm gonna rip out the the gills. All right, nice and clean, scaled. A couple more on there. They should rinse right off. We're gonna go right in the smoker that way. Hole. Scale pretty easily. All the scales off of them. Let them open. Run down the, run down the cavity. Let me make sure I don't drop my the guts in my clean bucket of brine. And peel them gills right out of them. Shake some of the scales off of them. And into the brine pot. All right, so we're gonna go go to town on them, finish them up, and uh, next step will be the smoker. So there's uh, preparing herring for the smoker. We're just gonna put them in a traditional brine, just like you do whiting, just like you do anything else. And we're gonna uh, we're gonna smoke them up. As always, hanging with heavy recipes. Brought to you by BoatLoans.com. For all your boating need, marine financing needs, please visit BoatLoans.com. So, in our herring uh, for two days, we're going to put them in, we just did salt brine, 
We're going to put them in a smoker here in a little bit. But what you want to do sometimes with this kind of fish is you want to lay them out for about an hour, hour and a half, and uh, let them get a, like, they get a skin on them. And it actually helps uh, with the smoking process, sealing things in. But we've gutted, had it and gutted some. We left a couple of the heads on, gutted them out, took the, um, the gills out. But uh, we're just getting them ready here. We're going to take them over. We're going to get them in our smoker. And uh, we're going to give them a good smoke. Uh, going to be, you know, a couple long hours, smoke with heat, and then probably just some smoke. We want to get a real nice smoke on them. And uh, there's our pre-smoked herring. All right, gang, we're here. We got our, uh, I'm at my buddy Steve Cowan's house of Cowan Electric out of Courthouse. We got a, he has a great little master built uh, electric smokehouse. This thing's temperature controlled, uh, smoke controlled. You can do pretty much anything with this uh, smoker. So we got our stuff uh, in there. I'm going to open her up real quick, show you. I got my herring laid out. And, uh, but this is a master built smokehouse. And uh, we've done some stuff on it before. Uh, it's a great little, seals itself. Um, good little smokehouse. Really been happy with it. And uh, for a uh, you know a house, a home use smoke smoker, this is about as best as you can get. All right, herring are laid out. We're going to start it out at uh, 100 degrees. Got two loads of chips in it. Going to get it uh, fired up and see where we go from there. I got it at 100 degrees now for uh, about two hours. I'll check it before then. But uh, we want to get a real good smoke in them. Uh, they've had a nice salt brine, so uh, they're ready to go.